this is why I'm also sometimes glad about more modern things that just go, okay, hey. If you want, you can buy a map for so-and-so amount of money in game money. Hopefully not real life money. And we'll show you where all those collectibles you're looking for are. But this came from a different era. An era where people really did like running around for 30 minutes, rubbing their face on every single corner looking for items. I don't like that though. <laughs> Found one. I have pulled up a map, but these aren't... This isn't actually a very good map. This is how old that game is. <laughs> so I'm just gonna have to run around sometimes referencing this okay map on the Wikipedia. While also keeping an ear out for the bottles. The bottle sounds are what are probably gonna save my life, really. Oh boy. In fact, wasn't there a bottle up around here somewhere? I'm not really sure, but this is definitely... Jump cut territory. I thought I heard a bottle, but that was just the little lanterns swinging around. Aha! Uh -huh. There were these two bottles over here. Definitely didn't spend any time over in this area. And I guess this is how we have to climb up to the peacock later on. Ho oh ho! Unfortunately, no bottle up on that exact spot. All the way at what is relatively the highest point that we can climb up to. That isn't, you know, just completely not accessible. I'd love to go to the Eiffel Tower up there. Although, I'll be honest. While the Eiffel Tower looks cool, I don't think I ever actually want to visit it in real life. I don't really have any... ...any want to go to Paris in the first place, honestly. But that's on me. I don't really want to go to a lot of places. I always hear bad... bad things about traveling to, to foreign countries. But I guess there are just bad... ...things and events everywhere. Alright. Now we're gonna find one last bottle. I'm not sure where it's gonna be, so it's gonna be a whole lot of keeping an ear out. Yeah, I need y'all to just calm it down, okay? I just want the loot. <laughs> I was also hoping there'd be a bottle up there, but no such luck. Gotta find the last one! I have no idea where to start! I've looked around the outskirts of the map, but I just found a bottle on the outskirts of the map, so... I can't be fully sure... ...if I looked around every single edge. I do feel like it's probably going to be on the inside, though. Just because of how much time I've spent on the rooftops and on the outer edges of the map. I just don't know. But I want to sell this loot off first. It's all about the money. Jade Vase. Oh, Vaz. I guess I could buy Smoke Bomb. We've got a pretty decent amount of money. All available power buffs have been purchased. Good. I still have no idea how to actually equip them. But that's okay. We'll figure it out. Here we go. Smoke bomb. Press L1, R, L2, R2 to assign this gadget to a button. Ah, that was the problem. The gadget I bought wasn't for Sly. It was for Bentley, wasn't it? Ah ha! Ah. That's gonna be unfortunate when the comments get to that. Okay. To be fair to myself, I didn't know we were gonna get a chance to play as Bentley until 
until recently. I bought that gadget really early on because it sounded cool. Oh, that's interesting. So we have a gadget, gadget power bar. I have no idea how we refill that up. I'm gonna hope that it's just by taking out enemies here and there. I need to find out. Yeah, okay. That filled up my bar a little bit. I don't know how useful this is going to be. But smoke bombing my way out of troubles sometimes could be helpful. Oh. No. If there's one thing I can be sure of, it's that the bottles will not be inside of the structures. So it's all going to be about running around the hub world, finding the bottles there. Unless things change in the future levels, which would be unfortunate. Alright, let's test this out. Boop. Yeah, that's okay. Oh, and here's the last bottle. That last clue, I should be able to crack the code to the vault. Head inside and let's see what they're hiding in that thing. Okay, I need to grab Or I need to head into Dimitri's office. I don't remember how to get in there, but I'll figure it out Ah, That's nice So when you actually gather all the bottles the game will legitimately go hey Here's where you gotta go to get that. Good. Because while I could try and memorize all the entrances to these places, we're actually not gonna spend that much more time here, are we? We're about to do the heist, and then we're probably gonna end up in an episode two, fighting a different boss. Well, that's okay with me. Now, how the hell do I get up there? Ah, the other side. Done, you lack of symmetry. I just wanted to crawl around the edges. Oh, hold on. This guy might have something valuable. Whoa. Okay. And then we kill him. So I think the loot I get from these guys isn't going to be, like, super valuable loot. So I don't have to worry about getting hit along the way. Hold the fuck up. Do you see my shadow down there by the pipe? What the heck? Oh, I love these shadow mess-ups. <laughs> that is unfortunate. I gotta get to Dimitri's office once more. But that's an easy goal. Yeah, you know, let's fight these guards. Because we never got to see their fighting style. Okay. They're like the weasels outside. Or the rats. Although these guys seem more like rats. Maybe they're all rats. Ooh, that was cool. Double whack. I like that superhero like sound sting. Oh, what the? I was not supposed to fall there. I was supposed to rise <laughs> and sneak. What does it say? Le drama fantastique. Le theater festival. Okay. I think there was a a restaurant called Stinky Cheese outside there too. 
freaking name you've got for a sucker punch. <laughs> First one is true, Sly Cooper. Sneaking around. <laughs> this is still here. It's so obviously not the one that he had beforehand, but he's not gonna notice. It took some higher level math, but I believe the coach in Dimitri's vault is two, three, one. Two, three, one. Knockout dive. Okay. What does that mean? Knockout dive. Press L1 on. Oh, I have to sign it. But, okay, there we go. I was like, it's not telling me what it does. Leap at enemies, leaving them stunned on the ground. Press R2 to trigger. Or L2. Ah! This move again. Okay. That's not the most exciting thing to get as a first ability, but, you know, hopefully the future ones will be much more worth it. And, if I ever play aggressively, that'll be good. Oh, I- oh, oh, it burns through my power bar. That's a little bit even less worth it, now that I think about it. Oof. Okay. So it looks like I only get my power back when I get health power-ups. Health power-ups give me health and my special bar back. Got you. Eh. A silver comb, wow. Uh-oh. I gotta go! Please don't shoot me! Okay. In so many other games, you'd land behind a guy and they'd just be like, What was that noise? Oh. But Sly's a master thief! He moves so silently when he needs to. I wonder if we'll get an ability that allows me to sprint at enemies while being silent, too. That'd be good. Okay. Let's sell everything. Just to get that out of the inventory. And let's continue our mission. Whoa! Whoa. I deserve that. Oh gosh! I'm putting down bombs! Enjoy! Ah! <laughs> yes, please do jump on the bombs. Okay. Bentley definitely not a warrior. We knew that. It's the brain, not the bronze. Oh boy. Leave me alone! What the hell? Oh, did he throw a little tiny bomb too? What a nuisance! They are Italian with their own explosions! Yeah, this is clunky as fuck. Oh, Jesus, he shot my ass out of the air. I gotta go. Ah. Ah. I'm so sorry, Bentley. This is exactly what you would have feared. The mission going wrong. Okay, I got my health back. Trigger bomb is not worth it. 
Come on, chum. Let's get to that water tower. What are you gonna toss me? Hold on, I forgot where the water tower is. Um. Um. Ah! <laughs> I was looking in the sky for this exact holographic marker. Alright. So I think the trigger bomb's probably gonna just pair well with my sleep dart. I like sleep dart an enemy from a distance and then I can take them out. What did I just do? <laughs> Jump into my arms! I'll toss you up there. Sure, why not? I, I I missed. That's what happened. I was behind something and my sleep dart hit the wall in front of me. Damn it. Jump and press circle. You got it. Oh, hold on. This is clunky. We got it, though. What? Okay, I guess I just didn't know what the fuck to hit next. I thought I would release and then I press circle, but no. It's square! Oh. This is very disappointing. The arrow was right there! How am I missing?! What the fuck?! Hold on. Nope, that's not gonna work. Bentley! I'm not actually sure what you want me to do here. I thought they want me to throw him at this this edge right here, and then he could like put a bomb or something. But yeah, like this. Have to blast your way in. <laughs> Why was it so hard for me to get up there the fucking other times? That arrow was right on the hole. I need to focus. Which valves do I turn to divert water pressure from the plaza? To change the flow of water through a valve, I should press the circle button. Yeah. I don't know exactly where I'm trying to lead this, but I'm maneuver it. Am I supposed to just get the water going everywhere? It's off all right. They're already sending out the repair guy to fix it up. Think pocket the keys to his repair truck without being seen. Will it smoothly turn me into Sly? Nice. Okay. Continuing on our heist. Think pocket the guard without being seen. Mission failed! Mission failed! Aborting! <laughs> okay. I wanted to test out if I could take out an enemy right behind another enemy without them hearing. They can hear it for absolute sure. Good to know for future references. Also, how dare you almost mess up the operation! Okay. Back to dealing with the repairman who is walking away from the fountain, I guess. To some other area that could possibly be useful in fixing the fountain. By being super far away from it. Oh, you know what? Maybe. Yeah, okay, here we go. It's the repair truck. I'll give him that. Okay, head back to the fountain to make the exchange. Why don't I just leave the key at the truck? Because you're going to be grabbing the truck anyways. So, then I can just leave it at the truck and make my way up to the... Ah, uh, whatever that thing is. <laughs> I forgot already. <laughs> the bird. It's not a swan. Right? Peacock. There we go. He 
It's all you. Let's head out for the repair truck. All right, Murray, I need you to keep me covered. Who knows what kind of foul creatures we'll find along the way. Hold on. I've got this. Nice. And kabow! That was a little disappointing. There we go. Yeah, did instant kill him. Nice. Sleep dart and then toss it rather than having to run up to them? That could save my life. I'll take the wheel. I know how to drive a stick shift. I need to get in position on top of the nightclub's peacock sign for phase three. It'd be funny if I could, like, see exactly what I just did as Murray and Bentley all over again. But I don't think that's happening. Oh, I missed that. Are you kidding me? I pressed circle. I pressed circle. I was hoping it would let me just drop down. There. At the very least, when I was going for the bottles, I found my way up here already. I'm in position. Great! We're just driving up right now! Get ready to grab the tow harpoon! This feels dangerous, but okay. I think this should work. Uh oh! Alright, how about this? Nice. Hooks on. Pull away. Slide. The guards are on to us. Protect the truck. Yeah, you got it. Get out of here. Skedaddle. Ow. Somehow they haven't hurt the truck yet. I can spiral around too. <laughs> So it's a legit stun, but it's not that long. But it's a good enough thing that if I'm dealing with multiple enemies, I can put one enemy out of the way whoop, while dealing with the other ones. Or I can just stun that enemy and get another hit in on for free. Come on, you pesky weasels, get out of here! Behold the majesty of gravity and inertia! That was real subtle, Bentley. Okay, you jump in, grab the clockwork tail feathers, and we're out of here! Yeah, although what were you gonna do if Dimitri's down here? Surely, he'll be ready to stop me, right? Oh, raccoonas do this. They're like totally bumming my house up and bringing me down. It's so <laughs> very uncool. Why can't you let birds and bees be free, bro? Listen, Dimitri. You have no idea what you're playing with. It'll bring more than your house down. Look, bro. I see you are a tough cowboy. A man with taste, style, vision, a connoisseur of finer things. Like me. Look, I'm sure the two cats in a bag like us can work something out. Huh? We smooth. Look, see the money. You like the money. You can take all you want. I can. No deal. You and the rest of the claw gang have to be stopped. Clockwork will never again see the light of day. Just hand over the tail feathers and we can. What is this with clocks, bro? Have you no vision? Are you hearing what I beam to you? You think you have juice? Don't show me a little mind when talking about such big things. You think you can swing the bat? Show your bling and let me shine you. I have no idea what you're saying. <laughs> and your suit sucks. No! Let's dance! I understand a good bit of that, but okay, how are we gonna how are we gonna do with them? Whoa! <laughs> Alright, he has gun. And then, rock! 
Okay, alright. He shoots his gun, and then eventually it frizzles out, and then BAM! We can hit him! Go ahead, man! Try and shoot over here again! Oh boy, that one almost got me. I'm about to die! Oh shit! <laughs> His tail's powerful! It's real powerful! Okay. I gotta play Lucy Goosey. Alright, alright, this is working out. I just had to figure out how it wanted me to damage him in comparison to normal. And the answer's pretty easy. Just play it safe. Smack him around a whole bunch. What was that charge up attack? Oh god. Oh god. That's a terrible way for him to go. Oh, he's fine. Take clockwork feathers and my counterfeit in operation. It's past tense. I'm doing you a favor. What kind of thief prints money? There's no honor in that. You. <laughs> Cracker box. <laughs> <laughs> Look at his goofy smile. All right. We got the big heist complete. My gang and I had done it. The clockwork tail feathers were ours, and Dimitri's counterfeiting operation was ruined. Due to the untimely arrival of Carmelita, my escape got a little tricky. Angry at having just missed me, she took it out on Dimitri. Shutting down the nightclub and throwing the frustrated forger behind bars. The gang and I headed out of town for a week in Monaco. I figured the team had earned themselves a well-deserved break. Do we actually get to see the break? Oh, it just goes straight to the menu and is like, all right, time for the next episode. Yeah, sure. So what are we doing here? A starry-eyed encounter. I, I'm totally down with fighting against the tiger, I suppose. Alright, let's get this started. 